Full disclaimer, I fucking suck at this game. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go from beginning to end completely solo. <laughs> that is from the Great Jagras all the way to Fatalis. Oh boy. Also, I do apologize for the, uh, the, uh, the quality, I guess. My computer isn't the beefiest thing in the world, so I'm currently on bluish graphics? I don't recall, actually. I do have the, the high-res texture pack, and somehow that made my game run better? Hey, so guess who just recorded a whole bit without, <laughs> without having the fucking game capturing? Oh boy! I think I'm just gonna change the voice and be done with it. <laughs> Try listening to that without a uh, freaking video, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that, that's the one. We are not going to go with the Guardian gear, we're gonna go with the leather. Because the Guardian gear is fucking OP. Uh, Alex sucks at games. A SOG! <laughs> you do! Alright. And Palico. Who are we gonna go with? Stinky. <laughs> Alright. Painfully default, but oh well. Oh boy, unskippable cutscenes. Oh, savor it, Atreus. It's just in Palico fucking dies. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. You know, I still have a whole collection of clips that I got from my first ever playthrough of this game, and I'm considering stitching those together into a video. The problem is, is that during my first playthrough, I started having videos in the background as I was playing, and also I was playing on significantly worse graphics, so I don't know if it would be worth doing, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. If whoever comes across this video would be interested in that sort of thing, Hello? Would be interested in that sort of thing, then uh, I guess I can... I can do that. I do have a, a clip of me using the gun lance. It was the first weapon that I ever picked up, and uh, me absolutely fucking destroying a Rathalos, or Rathian, sorry. I don't know if I would trust a wild animal this blindly. Nor a complete stranger this fucking blindly to just jump off of a giant mountain-sized creature. Oh boy, Florida. And here we see the wild Jagras. Look at that magnificent creature. It would appear they want to eat my ass. And here we see a great Jagras. It's like a regular Jagras, but somehow great. And here we see a wild human doing what humans do. Eco-terrorism. And here we see the wild Enginath. Holy fucking shit. My god, here comes Enginath with the Steel Jagras! <laughs> Tutorial segments. Ugh. This man's got the squarest fucking jaw in the freaking new world. You could chisel Basarius of that thing. But he almost got fucking clotheslined by that tray of dishes. <laughs> It would have been an entirely different cutscene if he just got knocked on his ass like that. <laughs> right, so when I first started playing this game, or at least right before I bought it, I asked some old friends, you know, what what weapon should I try to... or should I pick up first? And one of them sent a video of the gun lance, and I was like, Alright, that's cool and all. I'm not gonna watch the video. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the fucking gun lance. And so I did. And now the gun lance is my favorite fucking... Uh, my favorite weapon in this entire game. But, I want to try to use the regular Lance, because across both World and Rise, the Lance is probably, probably my least used weapon. I figure I might as well. I have got to figure out how this weapon even works. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the That's just about what I'm about to do. I only really know the most basics of how to use the Lance. What I know is just boink, 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 cancel, stab, 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 cancel, stab, 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 cancel. Then you can kind of do some stuff with the, uh... Oh. 
perfect. And you can do a leaping thrust. Oh, and you're guarding while you're doing that? Okay. Oh, you can counter claw with it. Okay. You can do that and then just kind of ready up your claw. All right, that's pretty cool. So you can't charge that in world, huh? Okay. That's Lance. <laughs> you need to load the slinger with some ammo. See anything useful lying around? Creates damage. <laughs> All right, it's time to completely deviate off the path and go collect shit. Link? Howdy, gamer. Area known as 2. <laughs> so what is Area 2? Ain't no fucking way. Well, actually, yeah, it is kind of cramped in there, hey? Oh, boy. Yeah, the Lance seems actually to be a lot less about the shield than it would suggest. Which kind of goes against my entire brain <laughs> as a gun Lance user. Oh, boy, here I go killing again. Bit of bug. Bit of bug. Bonk. Blame nut. Dangerous fungus said to draw the life out of people. Let's make a <laughs> potion out of it. Is there a way I could blow this up? I guess not. Burn by you. Bit of bug. Hello, sir. Would you like to be eco-terrorized today? I am not about to fucking die to Jagras. I'll tell you what. Anyways, I fucking hate the Lance. <laughs> so we're gonna use something else, I think. <laughs> Do I just go Gun Lance? You know what? Let's go Charge Blade. I don't want Defender weapons. Eh, I'll need a Vade Extender in this game for a Switch Axe. Let's go Charge Blade. Boom. Why do you tell me about layered armor? Oh, wait, I can just make layered armor immediately? Okay. Oh, the Gala suit. <laughs> that is fancy as fuck! What the hell? Let's see if I can remember how to use the, the charge blade here. Ew. Alright, okay. And it's been a while since I've used the charge blade, or any weapon for that matter. Haven't really played Monster Hunter in a minute. What? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was a bit overkill. Yeah. God damn you. Pardon me? Oh. Don't mind me. Oh boy. Doink. I'm missing a singular Kestodon. Are you kidding me? Oh. I kinda miss wire bugs, honestly. <laughs> oh boy, fat lizard time. This is my favorite part of Monster Hunter, honestly. Just doing the research and getting the, the tracks for all the monsters. I fucking love that, because I actually feel like a hunter. It's in it. It's one of my biggest issues with Rise, because you just intrinsically know where each monster is. There's no hunting in that. <laughs> I mean, sure, the the meat of Monster Hunter is hunting the monsters, but getting from A to B in world is a lot more interesting than, than Rise, you know? Ah, uh, there you are. Scatter. Oh, get back here. Get back here, fat ass! Get over here. Ah. Oh, I have to charge the shield first, right. Oh, I forgot you can <laughs> mount! It's been so long since I've mounted. I completely forgot you can even do it. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Shit. No, get back here, you motherfucker! Ugh. Running. What, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not gonna hit. Yes, it is. Boink. Unskippable <laughs> cutscenes. Alright, got the Vest Blade Helm, because it takes ages to just shoot you with the Charge Blade. Attack Boost from the Bone Chest. Sent Hound for some early game hunting. This just for the extra defense and the occasional slide attack, I guess. And I guess that's it. Played a whole bunch of Monster Hunter Rise after it came out, and I've learned a thing or two about the weapons in the, uh, the franchise. Like, when you sheathe, or not sheathe, like, morph from sword and shield to axe form, the first couple of, uh, first couple of frames, it's a guard point. Which I think is pretty cool. Like, that is a guard point. Which I think is really fucking cool. You don't get a guard point from axe to sword and shield, it seems. And what have we got here in the locale? Oh, <laughs> right, it's not a, not an old file, so, gotta find everything. Which, honestly, best part of Monster Hunter. Doing the, you know, hunting. <laughs> and I hope for Monster Hunter 6 that they bring back at least something similar to... It doesn't have to exactly be Scout Flies, because for some reason people think Scout Flies are distracting. And I kind of agree they are distracting if you're a third grader with ADHD. Really aren't that bad, you guys. Come on. But if Scout Flies really are that unpopular, then whatever. There's probably more options out there. I just want to be able to track and gain progress for uh, research and all that stuff, like you do here in World. Because in Rise, just being able to, you know, hop into a locale and find what you're hunting just intrinsically. And, you know, I guess it's fine for gameplay, but I mean, like, I don't know. I, I just liked being able to make progress, I guess. And well, when I say, I say make progress, I mean, like, the feeling of going into a locale with no knowledge beforehand and then leaving it with just a bit more then as you go further and further you learn the locale more you learn the monsters more you can find them easier as you progress through the story or lack thereof i don't know just something about that feels so much better than just grabbing a quest and then knowing where everything is automatically that's just my opinion though something about the discovery part of this of uh world that really gets me as for whether or not it'll take me all the way to fatalis who knows just have to wait and see i've never fought fatalis let alone even alatrion fought safi jiva plenty though and i remember that fight it's uh definitely not something you can do solo at least not very easily but the end goal is to fight each of the uh the black dragon solo once including safi jiva it's doable. I've seen people do it. By God, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. And there's a campsite. It says complete expedition. Okay, I guess I guess I didn't really do what I was meant to do. All right then. I have a feeling I really should be using this Astera jerky. I've never really used it before though. It told me to find the campsite, and I I did. I guess the game is kind of slightly dumb. As a side note, forgive me for background droning and echoing and all that stuff. Really new to this, and my desktop, while very quiet, my mic still picks it up. I have no soundproofing in my room, and in the middle of this recording, I'm going to be in a new place entirely. So, yeah, it's going to be a very small and echoey room. <laughs> 
Something's stomping around around here. Just be Jagra seals. Be gone, lizard man. Oh, what? Monster discovered. Anjanath. Oh, there she is. All right. I don't think I'm quite ready to fight that yet. <laughs> oh, hello. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna beat you up. I just gotta remember how to use this thing. It's been ages since I've played Monster Hunter in general. That is not how you do that. I just like... Ah, okay, you don't need files. <laughs> See you, stinky. <laughs> that is very satisfying. There's something that came to mind in the middle of that fight, and I completely forgot what it was. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Clutch Claw. That's what it was. Gotta figure out how to use the clutch claw effectively. Or I can just completely ignore it, who knows. I have to talk to all three of these people on the map, I wonder. Is that how I did it last time? Completely forgotten. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I guess I have to talk to everyone. There was a third thing in the locale. Don't know what it was. Probably Kaluya Koo. Yeah, okay, it was Kaluya Koo. That's what it was. I gotta find that thing. It was in Campsite 11, I think. Not campsite eight. Where do I have to go for that? I have to, it's it's always this segment that I completely get lost. <laughs> I love the music in Monster Hunter. I especially love the theme for the Zenoger, but it's gonna be fucking ages before we're fighting the Zenoger. Gotta go to the Guiding Lands for that. Is this where I need to be? No, this is Area 15. Where, where am I going for Area 11? <sighs> Not fucking here. Yeah, here we go. Played this game before, I swear. <laughs> okay, I know, I know where I'm at now. Here we are. <laughs> it's got such a dopey little intro. Let's enact some colonization among, upon this uh, giant bird. I don't know why, but that kind of <laughs> doesn't sound right. And a little stinky. Oh no, you don't. 
Fuck! <laughs> You're running back here. <laughs> that was meaty. Why do you slap? Oh, there's a another great Jaggers. I just kind of, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Howdy, gamer. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, I meant to guard point actually. <clears throat> Let's know. that knocks monsters down. Oh wow, that was slick. <laughs> guys, I'll be taking on Fatalis in no time. <laughs> I'll be like eating grubs and punching lizards. <laughs> Howdy, gamer. Maybe shortly. All this, that's back to Ostera. <laughs> that's Camp 8 done as well. Alrighty. God, why are you so fucking cringe? Okay, Puke usually spawns in this area right over here. Area 6. All the little Vespoids and the Scatter Nuts. Could not tell you how many of these damn Puke Puke I have hunted for whatever reason. I think I need like poison sacks. Maybe bird wyvern gems. I don't remember. Likely just around the corner. Yep, there it is. Damn it. <laughs> Thought I knocked it over for a second there. Oh, no, you don't. Get down from there, you son of a bitch! <laughs> that was nice. Probably just talked out my microphone, too. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. No, that's <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we got some upgrades available at the workshop. Speed eating might be really good, actually. What are they called this? The best kind of quest out of pure irony. Because escort quests are... Uh... Not very great. You know what the handler reminds me of right now? That one comic where there's like a guy in a fursuit. And it's like, it's stuck on him. And he's just like, oh my god, I've, I've, I've merged with my suit. Holy shit! And then the next, or like the, the last panel is him dying of heat stroke. That's what this reminds me of. Middle of the desert, wearing a fucking fursuit. I wonder what these scholars think of this guy. It's supposed to be escorting him. He's just running around, grabbing plants as, as he passes by. Zoink. Bit of bug. Bit of bug. Flash bug. Very nice. Of me some flash pods. It sounds like a ref, you know, boy. You might be able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distract it. Yeah, that noise is called a blade interface. Bonk. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh Jesus! Ugh! Yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, let's not fight the Rathian at this moment. <laughs> Please, no. Oh gosh, she's sniffing me out. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, let's let's not fuck with the Rathian. Howdy gamer. Except for the part where I almost died to a Rathian, but yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh boy. Yep, that's a good start. <laughs> oh, thought he was about to roar there. God damn it.
I wonder, does that change your direction? Huh. Other than, like, the slide. Let's see, let me try that. No, it doesn't. Okay. A little too late on that guard point. Probably wasting the mega potion, but oh well. Oh, yep. Oh, that's stunning. Okay. Oh, aren't you, sweetie? Oh shit. <laughs> charge out of this blade here. Directly hitting him with the, the axe. Oh, we're doing that, I guess. Clock! Oh, that's so cool. Exactly what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Giant ass face is taking up the screen. <laughs> Reminds me of that, uh, I forgot who uploaded it. I think it was fucking sock guy. I forgot. JFJ, I think that was. Couldn't see shit in the cutscene because his Banbro armor is taking up the entire screen like my freaking charge blade is. <laughs> Head to the Wildspire Very nice. 